Hey guys, what is up and welcome. So today, I'm going over a kind of a new plan I've been working on, where everything currently for my mining and staking and all that kind of stuff is kind of in my bedroom because I don't have an office space. And it's kind of just taking up everywhere. There's stuff all over my desks, all over my floor, on my, on my shelves. There's like no space to do anything. So I've been looking at buying a shed and uh, kind of making it into like an outside area, it's like a 10 by 8 foot kind of thing, like quite a decent sized one where I can put some nice racking up, some nice shelving up, I can have a staking PC in there, I can have my Raspberry Pi in there with all my hard drives and my enclosures, they all nicely laid out. And be able to once it, once it arrives, get my helium miner in there, have the antenna on top of the roof of the shed, and make a nice like enclosure for it, and have everything outside. It's going to have better cooling. I can just do extraction, like put a couple of extraction fans, just kind of like in the side of the shed here, or you can get additional like variations of this shed, like uh, this one or this one where you can get like skylights put in, so you, I could just remove the skylight and put an extraction fan in with a water, waterproof boxing on it you know things are available and the prices aren't too extreme they're pretty good and so i could have the shed have everything set up in there and that'd be awesome and this is going to be the project i'm working on next what i'm also going to be doing is adding a solar panel kits to it and it's a pretty good company in the uk which do all kinds of kits for different kinds of uk use cases so you've got like off-grid home ones where you can get, you know, they're quite expensive, but you can go upwards of like 15,000 watt power grid ones or like 60, 1,600 watts and 3,000 and all these like massive ones. You could do 2,700 watts, you know, 10 kilowatt professional off grid system, but that's a bit much on my current use case. And what I'll be looking at is this one, which is about 2,000 to 3,000 pounds. So looking at about three and a half grand for all the included and this would be a 1800 watt solar panel system where I could just have a nice box on the wall on a wooden panel that was obviously away from it, have it all grounded properly and then on the roof of the shed, on this, if I go for something like on these ones, on the slots on top, actually on the top slanted bits I could do solar panel, solar panel, solar panel and then three on the other side because the slides match perfectly and have a lovely solar power system and then that would mean i could have instead of having a you know mains power the entire system kind of run off solar because my staking pc uses about 250 to 300 watts i think the power supply i think it's a 300 watt power supply then my raspberry pi uses under 100 the Enclosure I currently have my hard drives for Chia currently uses 180 So we're looking at about 600 watts so far. So I still have like 1200 watts of spare power I could use So obviously I could add in more enclosures for hard drives and bring that up to like another 180 for every single enclosure again and again and again and again and get absolutely crap loads of them or what I want to do is I want to experiment with some new toys and You know just tr buy things that I could run off solar which means then once I've obviously paid off through mining or whatever with these devices, I'll be able to actually just earn money with them and whatever I earn, even just like a few pennies or a few cents here or there, it's just a fun little project to work on. So for example, I could buy an atom miner. This is the AMO1 version, but they have got the AMO2 version somewhere. I haven't found one yet, but the AMO2 prototype was released in Q2 of last year. So I need to look into getting one of them if they are actually available. But buying a Atom Miner could be a pretty cool feature. From what I understood, the AM, only the only the only one was available. But if they two is available, I could buy one of those. And they don't run much power at all. They run, if we look at the algorithms, like 18 watts or 13 watts. So, yeah, and like, the most on here seems to be 18 watts. So you could buy a load of atom miners, 
yes, you might not earn much of them, but it's kind of free power. And once you've paid it off, you've paid it off. That would be a cool project. I could buy quite a few of them, line up like a good 10 of them, run them with solar, just be like a fun little project. Or something a bit different is because you can run this off the Raspberry Pi as well. So I can run this off my same PC, the same Raspberry Pi that I'm doing the cheer mining on and just like really tangle that system a little bit. Or buy another one and have a separate one for the atom miners and do a few atom miners. I could also buy some powered USB hubs and buy something like, you know, a Moonlander, which are pretty cool. Like the Moonlander 2, which does not much in terms of mega hashes, but you know, they're cool little USB mine devices. You buy an eight slot powered USB hub, plug it into a Raspberry Pi, whack eight of them in there, leave them to run. It's a cool little, little thing. You might not make much off it, but again, you can run them off a solar power system. And just, once you paid it off, you paid it off. Currently, they are really, really expensive and only in a few random places. Like the ones up here is 235, but that's just because of crypto currently and all the prices are insane. So I would wait until the prices drop down before I bought anything like this. But there's the Gecko Science ones, which are 282 each, and they do 45 giga hashes of Bitcoin, which you'd make, I think when I looked it up, you'd make like $100 a month at a push with each, each one. And that was like, if you really overclocked it and like put a, a cooler on it and like really got it set up properly, like get one of these ones with a cooler on, which are actually a bit less. Uh, and you really overclocked them and tanked them. You can get about that. And because of the electric costs, you would obviously make a loss, but because of solar, you would make the money back anyway. There's a future bit Apollo, which is the 2.8 terahash home miner, which is the actual mini ASIC miner. But these things are pretty cool because they only run at 205 watts in turbo mode. So all you need is a PCIe connector. So you just plug in a 500 watt power supply and then you could power two of them and have two of those things running at 2.8 terahashes and kind of make a fair bit of those running completely off solar. Nice cooling being outside, you know, as long as the shed's not getting a disgusting amount of like, heat hitting it and heating the whole the metal up then you just make a nice racking for it have that sitting there yes they are 1.4 but obviously 2.8 terahashes you make your money back pretty quickly i would assume so let's have a look terahashes 2.8 power consumption would be zero so you'd make yeah because it would be solar so you'd make four dollars a week but hey eighteen dollars a month that's an extra eighteen dollars a month so if we did what well, how much was it it was this one here uh 1452 1452 and we want to divide that by 18 is 80 80 months so we take that 80 and we divide that by we divide that by twelve it is six point seven years, and you would have paid that off fully, which is you know, at the current price of Bitcoin. There's also the Eruptor one, which was quite an old one now, but you can buy one like people are selling them for like nineteen pounds currently with bidding, and it's three hundred and thirty three mega hashes. That's so pretty low. But, you know, at 332 mega hashes, you're not going to be making much. Like 333, three, you'd be making, what, two cents a year? So that one's not even at all worth it. But it's a, you know, it would be cool to get hold of one, just kind of see how they run, see how the systems run, just for experimentation purposes, seeing as you can get it for so cheap. You know, experiment with it, make a video, kind of break it down, see how they work, maybe see if you can overclock it or adjust kind of how the board works and maybe be able to upgrade it yourself if you're good at soldering and doing that kind of stuff. You never know, you might be able to do it. Uh, there's the actual Moolander, which is, you know, $310 to buy one and apparently makes three to five mega hashes on, you know, the Litecoin algorithm. So if we actually look for that, LTC, 
mega hashes uh we'll do five on zero you'd make five dollars a year currently but if you did it into you know dogecoin and left it for a while if dogecoin ever goes up to the actual one dollar people are trying to make it go for maybe you'll make actually quite a lot of money off it kind of depends how it were at mind and also this is only for one tiny little thing say if you had like a hundred of these it could be pretty cool and then we get to things like the black miners which they run at like 360 watts for the most but you get them running at like multiple giga hashes for some of them they're not too bad priced you'd be able to run our solar fully so there's the black miner f2 square and there's the f1 mini which is the obviously lower version so this is like what digibytes this can make a comparison so 1.9 giga hashes and this is 512 mega hashes this is half the power but it's less than half the amount and also you can buy one of these and then you can daisy chain more of them together more of the slave boards so you would buy one of these for 165 and then just buy more slave boards which are pretty cheap they're like not much they're a bit less than this like 130 i think they were and then you'd be able to just do again and again and again and again and again and apparently from testing they've managed to get this plus 11 boards set up so then you could mine at what 11 of them for like 1100 watts even with a really low algorithm not like these really high algorithms like so but you could in theory run a good amount of them off solar which is pretty damn cool and obviously if you run out of power add another battery adds more solar panels just slowly increase the system until you got this pretty crazy enclosure and then you'll be making absolutely disgusting amounts of money so if we had a look we want to look at the f1 mini plus cost for power would be nothing at all and you could make uh 57 cents a day with free power on this current one with the mini so if we get the calculator back out again and we are making what 50 so 0. Point, uh restart 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 so 0. 0.57 and we want to times that by 360 is 205 pounds a year with one of them so you'd pay it off in just over half a year with that current price of that one which is pretty good and that's really obviously a zero electric cost rate so paying off the whole like farm kind of idea would take a couple of years with all this cheap small hardware but it would give me an excuse to experiment with stuff and obviously having the cheer mining not using any money to power it would save a lot and whatever i make from that and same with the helium miner which again uses not much power but being able to make it work with actually not spending any money is pretty cool and then there's also the fpga miners now we do have you know a good selection of them which could all be run off solar so obviously we have fpga fpga there and then we have they've obviously the, the graphics card to compare so we have f1 black minor which are really really good and the bsu which are pretty damn good it's been a long time since seeing anyone do anything about them so i don't know how good they are now but seeing as that's only you know 1.7 giga hashes at 150 watts you could run like 10 of them in a big system and you know make a pretty decent setup if you know FPGA is still actually somewhat profitable and we'd find that I would buy one and some of these cards can be upwards of two grand who knows I kind of have to just work it out as I go and the best return on interest is this miner currently but this is going to be running you know you could be running 780 watts or like I could run run a Kadena and still power it on the solar there are options there are plenty of options but you know i need to get the first stage set i set up get the current stuff moved in there and work it out as i go along i'm definitely gonna make a video when i actually buy all the stuff and like build the shed and get all the solar set up and kind of 
let me work out and experiment and learn a bit about how solar works since i don't really know much about it and there are additional kits you can get with wind power so you could have some mini wind turbines as well so they've had quite a lot of land you could set up say 50 solar panels get really well weather protected cabling bury it under your ground get all the way to your breaker box have it go to your converter and then have it go to your big system and i would obviously buy a bigger bigger shed and go to a big warehouse but for that i need to start earning a bit more money from the crypto so i need to be able to convert my electric costs from how they currently are which is really expensive because the uk into some sort of renewable energy so solar or wind or even hydro if i could but i would need to have a river nearby which there are some but they are quite some distance and not technically on my land but anyway this is where i'm going to leave this off with today anyone got any ideas of decent solar systems in the uk or other devices that run quite low power and could be interesting to try out let me know i'm willing to try out some interesting new devices maybe some smaller asics that run off solar because all i need to do really is if they have say five six hundred watts of power i can just add a couple more solar panels and a couple more batteries to the line and just link them in daisy chain or make a second whole system for that one device because once i have a bit more money I would sell off the 1.8 kilowatt system I currently have and I could move to a, you know, 2700 watt one or move to a three, three and a half thousand watt one or there's plenty of other options I can always move to. I just need to have the money in the first place. I even could have got up to a 15,000 watt one, 21 grand, and then that would power so much. But who knows? Anyway. Thank you for watching, and I will uh, see you next time.